Hi guys, welcome to my new video. I think this is the first time you guys are meeting my son, Zariah. Are you? Are you good too? Hi, Vivi. <laughs> he's he's not about it right now. He's just looking at my T-shirt. But it's the first time you guys are meeting him. Hi, Vivi. Hi, Vivi. <laughs> So, I am starting to vlog again, and today is going to be the first vlog of that. Now, I just wanted to come out here, I've come and give a disclaimer before the vlog starts, but as you can see right now, um, I, don't, I don't know what that pillow is doing there, but as you can see right now, um, what was I going to say? This is filmed on my new vlogging camera, so the quality looks really good. Um, Vivi actually got it for me for Christmas, so thank you Vivi, but... The vlog itself and another vlog as well are two vlogs that I filmed last year, which was before Christmas. So the quality is not going to be great because it was filmed on my phone. But I still want to upload it for you guys because it's still like documenting whatever. And yeah, I'm finally getting back into vlogging. I know that I really was watching my old vlogs and I wanted to have him in my vlogs so that I could have something to look back on when he's obviously a little bit bigger. And I know that you guys really enjoy my vlogs too. So I am getting back into vlogging. Yay! I'm not going to tell you guys that I'm going to be doing a weekly vlogs, but I will definitely try my best. And if not, I will just accumulate all the footage you have and just do like one leg vlog like you're going to see in this one. So another thing is, um, you're going to notice in the beginning of the vlog, he is a little baldy because we did shave his hair and it was just growing back at the time. That's how old the vlog is. And just one last thing, um, sorry that I feel like I have to explain so much, but I just want to like get it out of the way just so like later I don't feel like, oh, I should have said that. But um, another thing is the vlog might not be the best. Like I, you, before when I was vlogging, I was so used to it, so I knew what to take, how to take his stuff. But this time, I'll just try to vlog just to get into the habit of it. So might not be the most interesting, most best thing but i hope you guys enjoy it so yeah that's all i wanted to say and yeah so that you guys get to finally be my son Azu. his name is azariah vira Vipisha. let's go <laughs> we're putting up the christmas tree our house looks super messy because <laughs> we just made space right here and all this stuff is there we gotta clear all that I do. I have a question. Hello, sir. 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 Are you ready to see your Christmas tree? What is this? Are you ready to see your Christmas tree, baby? Huh? Look at me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, guys. Here it is. We need to put the decorations on because I was going to sleep soon, so we we're going to do it once he sleeps. But we want him to see it for the first time because it's his first time seeing a Christmas tree ever. So let's see. How'd you? <laughs> what is that? Who's that? You're drooling. Kuti, what is this? He's more mesmerized by the Ford. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Now, now he's looking at it like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> so cute. He's kind of smiling. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, please excuse the laundry machine in the back. But this is how it's coming along. These I had from before, the black and gold, last year. But then I wanted it to be a little bit more brown. Please excuse this mess, guys. Okay, just let's not pay attention. So, I have like browns and gold and black, so I'm going to put these clear ones. I don't know if it looks too much. I don't know about these little feathers. What do you guys think? I don't know. For the star, I'm going to wait until Azu wakes up and have him put it up there. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel, but I said, dude, no. Obviously, it'll look different with the lights on. Good morning! Somebody's so loud this morning! Good morning! We just running some errands today, um, so we left Azu with Libby's mom, and we are actually gonna go find him some Christmas gifts. So, can you blow the volume even more? Um, we're gonna find him some Christmas gifts. I want to get him some books and just like a few toys. It's 
kind of annoying because I don't really have that many toys for like babies and stuff. You can only really get them online. So we'll see. So we're going to go to Nibble, a little chapters, and then we're going to Babies on Us. And bye bye, baby. And yeah. As you can see, I'm losing so much hair, postpartum hair loss. It's a real thing, but life goes on. Oh well. Vibes, how are you? Can I just say vibes? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the weather is so bad today, guys. So bad. Obviously, the one day I actually came outside, the weather's like this. What's the deal? What's the deal? We have two more stores to go to. I think I get to see that for you. Guys, it is 4 p.m. and look how dark it is outside. Actually, it looks kind of brighter than it actually is. So dark! I hate winter time. Hey guys, we're home now. We just got Azuma, he's sleeping, so that's why I didn't show you guys him. Also, um, I know the quality is gonna suck now because it's obviously darker, but Vibi is getting me a new vlogging camera for Christmas. He's <laughs> giving me a dirty look. So hopefully <laughs> my qualities for the vlogs will be better then. That being said, I'm gonna make salmon right now, so I'll show you guys my recipe. I think it comes out pretty good, so let's do that. Okay, so this is what I use. I use oregano. I use garlic salt, huh? It is my recipe. What? Crushed chili, black pepper, paprika, paprika, <laughs> lemon and pepper. So this does have pepper in it, but like I like a lot of pepper, so I put extra pepper too. I just cut and cleaned the salmon. We put it in here and just made it also dry off the salmon after I wash it. So yeah. <laughs> okay, Mitch is here, guys. You guys haven't seen him in forever. He almost Hi. reaches the ceiling now. And my brother's here too. <laughs> That's how we're making salmon. <laughs> really just eye how much I'm doing because like I'm obviously not gonna touch the rocks and like eat the rocks so we just put like a lot of this in cooking I've learned that I always have to put more than I think I need because that's when it ends up coming good and then we put chili flakes because I like a lot of chili flakes we put pepper like I said just not too much because we already have pepper and then we're gonna put paprika. Paprika. <laughs> hmm. I feel like paprika doesn't really have any flavor for some reason, but um, a lot of people use it, so it's good. Okay. okay, this is just like. What's sometimes that? it doesn't work, so we're just gonna skip that. What is that? And then we're gonna put oregano just for some color. What color did oregano provide? Green. <laughs> Sometimes I use the herb thing, but like. You should put some garlic. Should I open that? Fix it? Uh, oh, that's it. And then we're just gonna use our hands. Obviously, you can use the gloves, but I'm cooking for my family and they don't care, so I don't care. So we're just gonna put a little bit of this. Wait, does it dry? What? The thing, the thread doesn't come? Yeah, it dries up. Your little bit is a lot, eh? Yeah, yeah but there's like a lot of having. So then, so then I just like coat it all up because um, I don't like to just put on one side. I like it to be flavorful with every bite. Do I look? Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So then we'll do a taste test because my brother and my uh, Michu have not tried this yet. So if it comes out good, it might be salty. It might be not flavorful. Who knows? Actually, there's probably a lot of flavor, but it might be a little bit of too much something. A little too much of something. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> We're watching Milan. Okay, guys. So obviously it's still on the obviously it's still on the pan to eat, but this is it. You just heat it for uh, 15 minutes on 425. Good. Is it like good? Good or like really good. better than yours? No. What? Which is true? Uh, just try. Uh, try from whichever piece you want. Whatever. It's gonna be like, oh my god. Yeah. It's very flavorful. Oh. It's good you had to hold that. <laughs> hey guys, 
Here's Hazu. Hi, pretty baby. He's getting a little sleepy. He just took a bath, played a little bit. Time to sleep, pretty baby. He's looking down because he does not want to get sleepy. guys what up today's another day and um you guys will always see me in the whole clothes with spit up on because obviously i have a baby obviously i do change it like a lot but it's like when we'll spit up there's only so much clothes i have to wear at home can't be changing every five minutes just to heads up before someone said something so um what was i gonna say yeah so i just woke up today is going to be a work day i have so much content to film so many new releases i want to share with you guys and no no um actual campaigns actually i do have one campaign i have to do too so yeah so today um maybe staying home from work so i could actually film because i haven't had the chance since i was sick last week so and i have not filmed it a little bit so yeah that's what's gonna happen today the song that's going in the back is from us his toys we just woke up i fed him so he's going to get breakfast so yeah, I have not even like washed my face yet. This is literally like the first day I'm doing in the morning. So yeah, let's go about the day, shall we? As is just right here, which is cheater. I don't know if he's cheating, but he always has to have something in his mouth. So that's what he's doing right now. This is his favorite piano in the whole world, like his favorite toy. So as we turn on, he'll start smiling. Hey, Baba! Hi! Hi, could you boo boo? Not about it, he just wants to put that in his mouth right now. So, this is usually how this set up when he plays. We usually put the piano into his play mat, and then wherever he ends up rolling over to, I just put that book thing. He really enjoys that as well. He has songs and it lights up too, but this is his favorite. So, I just leave this on for music. And we have these mats right here. It's obviously an awkward shape because we have the tree, but soon we're gonna get more and just make this whole space just for him. And we have our dining table pushed over there. That's his car seat, please don't mind. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun? Take your hand out. Here. <laughs> so, I changed my shirt and because. I ended up throwing up on it, but um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm gonna start doing some PR unboxings to put on my Instagram. So I guess I'll show you guys that as well. This is like stuff over the last month or two, I would say, because I just have not had the time to put it up. But that being said, I'm also gonna do my this or that Tuesday. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, because I play games on my story, and people seem to really enjoy that. So I'm going to go ahead and post that up on my Instagram right now and then go ahead and do the unboxing. And then I'm going to shower and then I'm going to film. Okay guys, first things first is the Huda Beauty and Naughty eyeshadow palette. I used this once for like a Diwali look that I just did and it's really nice. It's really like the same formula as her other shadows. So yeah, the colors are beautiful. Obviously it's an amazing everyday palette. You can create smoky eyes and all that good stuff. Stuff. And then it came with some um, brushes. I actually really like the brushes that come with her palette as well. So I'm excited to try those. I haven't tried those yet. And then the mascara. I am obsessed with her mascara. I love, 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 love it. I still have the other one, so I'm not going to open this one until I've done that. But yeah. Okay, guys. So sorry about the setup. I put it away by accident because I forgot to show you guys. But um, this is the Faux Filter Skin fi Skin Finish Foundation. Super excited to try it. I'm going to do a first impression wear test with it. And this is the Hydrating Primer, by the way. I don't know if you guys are going to see this vlog before. Or after that but yeah that's that i have some stuff for fun tv as well these are their new gloss bombs cream gloss bombs i'm i'm gonna film a video on these so you will see that very soon most likely before this vlog and then we have this as well please excuse this is for the packaging scratching up my head but we have one of their um, diamond bob rose um rave shade super pretty i will be using this in a video soon and then we also have the brush i've never used this so excited for that face and body so that's great i can use this other products too 
Okay, guys, I had to put my ring light out because the sun is going down. But this is the body a souffle um set from Laura Mercier, and then we have a translucent powder set. It's set to glow. It comes with a mini brush. That's a translucent shade. And then we have this. Oh my god, I just took a picture. I hope I took it with the eyeshadow. But the Paiba, I guess you pronounce it, Ballerina Mini Eyeshadow Palette. So yeah, it's super cute. These are all body creams, so I'm excited to use that. I love trying different body creams. Got this from Summer Fridays, the Jet Black Mask. This is a lip butter and their CC Syrup. I love lip butters and lip balms and all this stuff. I'm super excited for that. And the Jet Black Mask is already amazing. Tried it. And then this one, I've never tried the CC Cream, so excited for that. I have some plumping lip polishes from and lip creams from Buxom. This color looks so beautiful. I can't wait to try that. And that one too, actually. And actually, they all look really pretty. Can't wait to try them. Cutest little package from Catrice uh, Cosmetics. There's David's Tea, a little cute mug that says sweater weather, sweats on wine zone. Um, wine god, sorry. Um, socks. And then we have a bunch of their products. So it looks like there's a face perfecter, a primer, two lip balms, yay. Lip treatment again, yay. And a blush. I'm pretty sure that's all. So yeah, thank you. I got some Revitalist products from L'Oreal Paris. So they we have their 10% vitamin C pure concentrate, their 1.5% pure Hyaluronic acid. That's really interesting. I'm interested to try that. The glycolic acid serum, and then we have the 1.5% pure hyaluronic acid serum. So yeah, thank you to L'Oreal Paris. Okay, guys, finally have some brushes from Anissa. Yes, that's what they're called. I've never tried their brow before, but these brushes look really nice. So I'm super excited to try it out. Bibi and I are gonna DIY these to make them look like clay pots. So I actually saw this on TikTok, so this is set up so we don't get that <laughs> These are all from the dollar store, by the way. Uh, I'm wondering if I should just keep one as this because I do want to do browns and um, nudes kind of shades. I'm gonna leave this one to decide and do these for first. What we're gonna need for this DIY is paint, paintbrushes, baking soda, and oh, alcohol. I'm joking. This is, I got this just to mix the paint in because I don't know what else to get. So I got like a couple of brown sheets and a white. I swear I got a white sheet. Where the hell is it? Is this it? What's up? Okay, I'm pretty sure I got it. I didn't find it. Oh yeah, it's in the bag. And then I got these two oranges to get the terracotta color. So let's see. Okay, so I messed up with that one. I didn't do the right um, consistency. Show up on the page and the baking soda, but this one looks really good. I created a light, like nudish shade, so I put brown, a little bit orange, and white. Let's see what that creates. Loving this color, it's like just basically orange and just brown, a tiny tiny bit of white. I like that this is a little bit caramel because that one's obviously like really light. Okay, guys, so this is how they look so far. As you can see, that one is dripping, which is really annoying, and I can't seem to prevent that from happening that being said i notice when it's just fully textured like that it comes out way better because you can't see the drips this one you can't see because it's a little dark but even then you can kind of see it i don't mind too much because honestly it's just for the background of my videos but yeah this one <laughs> i regret doing this color because i feel like it looks like a fruit or something so there's that i might just have to take the lid off we'll see or i might just get rid of that one it's for the dollar store so i don't really mind if it comes out bad but you can see a little bit dripping there too. So maybe I just used too much paint, I don't know, but this one looks fine. So maybe it's the height, cause those ones are tall ones. I really don't know, again, I don't really mind. I'll just turn it around to the part that doesn't have that and use it for my videos. But uh, yeah, I was actually really loving this color, but I think it just looks bad on this particular piece. Oh my God, guys, it looks so good. I love it. I even really like that one. It came out really nice as well, except like the paint over there. I'll just hopefully be able to turn that. Sorry, I was talking about this. But yeah, it looks so good. 